Okay, let's do some crazy integral for fun. Here we are going to integrate from 0 to 1 of inverse tangent of 1 over x squared minus x plus 1. And as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, I will tell you guys that the answer to this is pi over 2 minus natural log of 2 right here. In fact, this is one of the JEE practice questions that I found, and hopefully you guys all like this. Some of my viewers keep wanting me to you know, check out the JEE test, so this is an integral that I want to present with you guys. Anyway, let's see how we can solve this. Perhaps we can all agree that this is hard to integrate because we have the x squared in the denominator inside of the inverse tangent. So we must somehow come with ways to break them apart. If we can do that, then we are on top of our game, right? We're in good shape for that. Hmm, but how can we do that though? Well, recall that we do have the angle sum or the angle difference identity for regular tangent. So let's bring that up right here. So let me just write this down. We know that tangent and hmm, in the denominator, I see the one plus. So I'm going to use the difference, right? So let's say we have tangent of the difference right here. Let's say a minus b like this. This right here is equal to tangent a minus tangent b over one plus. Okay, that's why I want to use the minus version right here because we have the one plus. Okay, one plus tangent a times tangent b. Okay. But this is the original tangent version. I want the inverse tangent version. How can we do that? Well, don't forget that A and B right here, they are angles. And when you have inverse tangent of something, that also represents angle. So I will just write down the following. Perhaps I will write A as inverse tangent of some like maybe little a like this. And I will also write capital B, the angle B, as inverse tangent of little b. And now I will just need to plug in this and that accordingly. And perhaps let me do this right here to the right hand side. We have inverse tangent of little a plug into here, original inverse cancel. So this becomes regular a, right? Just the little a. And then minus, when you do that, you just get the you know, little b. And then divided by one plus tangent a. If you plug in this into the capital A, you get little a, and then likewise, you get little b right here. So on the right-hand side, you get that. And on the left-hand side, you get this. I'll put it right here, which is tangent. A is that, so that's the inverse tangent of little a, and then minus inverse tangent of little b, like this. Well, well, we can now just take the inverse tangent on both sides. So in another word, you will see inverse tangent of this expression, which is a minus b over one plus a times b. This is equal to, well, you take the inverse tangent to the other side already, so this no more, but you do have this and that, which is inverse tangent of little a minus inverse tangent of little b, like that. And if you would like, you can just focus on the little a and little b. So I will make the inverse tangents in blue. So this is what we are going to keep in mind. This is not chalkboard, so excuse me on that. Anyway, so now let's come back here to see if we can make good use of this identity. And of course, you have to say a few more about the little a and little b, but let me just tell you guys that this version works right here. Anyway, Let's see, this is the integral from zero to one. We still have the inverse tangent. And in order for me to use this identity, I need to have the inside here to be in this form. So now let's make that happen. Of course, we have the fraction bar. We have the plus one, which I can write that down as one plus. So that match with this. But now I need to come up with a times b, which I have to consider this part now. Well, we have x squared minus x, so of course we can factor out an x. So we can just do that, x, and of course if you factor that out, you get x minus 1 right here. And now you see, this is pretty much like your little a, and this is like your little b. Well, on the top, 
we had one, but can I write yes? This minus that. Yes, we can. So let's see. This x and then minus this, which is x minus one, like that. So that's the a minus b part on the top. And you see, if you distribute and all that, you do get a one back. So in another word, this and that are still the same. Of course, we have to put on a dx right here. And now to continue, I can legitimately break this apart. Right? We can just plug in right here. So you see, this is going to be the integral from zero to one. And well, you have inverse tangent right here. You also have inverse tangent here, but your, the input here is just a, which is just the x right here. So the first integral is inverse tangent of a, and then which is the x actually, which is the x. And that's it. So I will close this integral. And I will subtract the other integral from zero to one, inverse tangent again. And this time it's going to be the b, which is the x minus one as the input now. So this right here is like that. So this right now, you know, we are happier because it's just inverse tangent of x. We can totally integrate that by using integration by parts. Likewise, you can also do this right here by using integration by parts as well. But I will show you. In fact, we can actually combine them a little bit more. And to do so, I will be using graphs. So right here, I will be looking at the graph of inverse tangent of x, which looks like this right here, and we are going from zero to one, so the region that we are considering is like right here, this part. And this is once again, the inverse tangent of just x inside. And now let's look at this right here. When we have x minus one inside of the inverse tangent, this means we just have to take this graph and move to the right one unit. So if you look at the graph of inverse tangent of x minus one, it looks like this. So now you have this right here. When x is one, you get zero for the graph. So it looks like this, okay? And for this graph, inverse tangent of x minus one, when you go from zero to one, which is this part now, right? This is zero and this is one. And as you can see, this and that, they have the same area in terms of their size. But in terms of the value of the integral, this right here is positive because it's above the x-axis, but this right here is negative because it's below the x-axis. Well, when you subtract negative, you're adding, and you pretty much, this and that are the same area. So you can just say, when you do this, you pretty much you just have to do this and times by two. That's pretty much it. So that's actually the correct way to see it. So by this, and you can just say, both of these integrals, when you combine them, you get two times the integral from zero to one of inverse tangent of just x inside, right? Once again, this area is just a negative version of that. When you do minus negative, you just add itself pretty much. So that's how we get the two. Anyway, we have the two all the way in the front and now let's just integrate that. And I will do the di method on the side for you guys. So we have the d and the i. So plus minus, I will be differentiating the inverse tangent x, and I'll be integrating one. So when you do that, you get one over one plus x squared. When you integrate this, you get x. So the first part of the answer is just this times that. And I will just put this down right here for you guys. X times the inverse tangent of x. And don't forget, you have to subtract this right here, but this is an integral still, right? So the product of this row is integral. We are going to subtract. And if you integrate x over one plus x squared, you can do that in your head. You get one half natural log of one plus x squared, like that. And now we just have to plug in the zero and the one. So let's do that. And that's pretty much it. So we see we have two all the way in the front and we multiply by, when you plug in one and two here, we get one times the inverse tangent of one, which that's going to be just pi over four. So we have pi over four here. And when we plug in one into here, we get uh, minus one half ln two, like that. And then when you plug in zero, this is gonna give you zero, likewise others also going to give you zero. So it's pretty much minus a big zero like this. And in the end, of course, you can just distribute and you see this is gonna give us pi over two, and that's gonna give us minus ln two. And 
With that, we are done. So hopefully you guys all like this video and if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe and also recommend me to your friends, teachers, students, parents, your dogs, your cats, your fishes, your raccoons, your birds. I don't know. But anyway, as always, that's it.